Today, we have the privilege of celebrating the Army, an institution that has been led by generations of exceptional officers. And that is the case today. Lieutenant General Jean-Marc Lantier and his spouse Pam are leaving the Army, and Lieutenant General Wayne Eyre and his spouse Jennifer are rejoining the Army to lead it into the future. These two leaders have demonstrated the very best Canada has to offer no matter the task, and who I know will continue to do great things for the Canadian Armed Forces. It just goes to show you the kind of confidence we have in you, Wayne. Today we mark another major milestone in your life as you take command of over 42,000 full-time and part-time soldiers, the biggest part of the Canadian Armed Forces. It has been an incredible honour and privilege to have served as your Canadian Army Commander. Leaving after only 13 months, as you can imagine, is a little bit bittersweet, but I leave with so much pride for the incredible institution that is the Canadian Army and its soldiers. So Wayne, Pam and I congratulate you on that prestigious appointment, and we wish you and Jen the best of chance, but you don't need chance, as you embark on that new chapter of your outstanding career. I am humbled and more than a little surprised by the short notice to have been asked to command an institution with such a proud history, the foundation of which is the men and women who choose to serve our great country every day. I look forward to once again soldiering with you, and together we will stand strong, proud, and ready. Uh, my predecessor has done a fantastic job, and I have big shoes to fill. Um, and there's, there's lots left to do. The Army or the, uh, the world continues to be a dangerous place, and we have to be ready to do uh, what is asked of us and protect Canada and the people of Canada and Canada's values and interests. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster and one that I've been tremendously privileged to be on. You know, as I've told the uh, Chief of Defence Staff numerous times over the last several years, this is about service. And I will go where he believes I can best serve the needs of the uh, Canadian Armed Forces with all factors considered.